science, from the microscopic to the macrocosmic levels, has been shaped by women since the dawn of civilization. The passion, devotion, and commitment that women have brought to STEM research is undeniable, as is their pronounced scholarship in the fields of scientific publishing and science communication. Women in scientific publishing work with researchers worldwide to ensure the quality of published research and to share life-changing scientific discoveries with the world. I moved to Wiley as a senior manager for open access and editorial development. It was actually something that I didn't even know existed in the way, in the extent that it, that it does. The, the extent of uh, work that we provide, how many things that can be done in terms of uh, author, author services, it's just, it's incredible. I progressed from publishing my own papers to uh, being a peer reviewer for many journals in my field. And then uh, subsequently on my return to India when I joined a pharmaceutical company as head of medical writing, uh, what I was looking for by the time I came to Cactus was more of an intellectual home um, and to be able to directly use the research that I had perhaps engaged in. Happenstance and a uh, very lucky accident led me to discover a, an advert for an entry-level in-house editor position at Wiley in Weinheim, Germany, which is where the chemistry titles are, um, are managed out of. Scientific publishing seems like a very good match um, and that's why it has always appealed to me. Um, and Wiley is a global leader in this field. So, uh, so I took this opportunity and it seemed like a perfect role that utilized my skills and allowed me to hone them for I get to be in very close association with research and the research world that I've been in. So it's a good transition on the other side. The leadership in the organization definitely played a big role in uh, helping me understand, uh, you know, what my contribution was like. Women make many positive contributions, but face challenges in the workplace. UNESCO data reveals that across the world, women make up less than 30% of all researchers, with only a third of all female students electing to pursue STEM subjects in higher education. Added to this, deep-rooted biases and gender stereotypes which are reinforced through popular media contribute to deterring women from pursuing science. And those who choose to face these challenges head on, then go on to experience significant unequal pay and restricted career progression. Some of the challenges that I encountered were in terms of safety. It was not always safe for me to venture out on my own. Uh, I had to rely on the presence of other colleagues and uh, sometimes male colleagues to accompany me so, so that I could carry out these experiments without worrying for my safety. I think while I wasn't the direct sort of recipient of any gender bias anywhere throughout my education and my career, perhaps because of the institutions I was lucky enough to be educated in and the family system I had, I think it has always helped to have supportive mentors and managers who um, never allow that bias, if it exists, from creeping into your life. Sometimes if you're not as confident about it, you, people may perceive you as being unsure which may not necessarily be the case, but that's the perception. So women at times have to do a lot more work to prove their point or make a point. As an in-house editor, I would often go to conferences. And of course, as an editor, you spend a lot of time interacting directly with speakers, with board members, with senior members of the community, of the research, the scientific community. And I will say that 99.9% .9 of those interactions that I had over the eight years I was an in-house editor were wonderful and positive. But there were on occasion um, some instances that made me a little bit more um, aware of being a woman in a male-dominated world. The other responsibilities women tend to have uh, that you know, you've got to take care of the home and um, the kids and all of that and that that's something that stays along with when you're uh, working towards developing your career. Research impact is measured by the change it brings or the services it provides. Through peer review, writing, editing and publishing scientific and scholarly articles, publishing professionals help scientists share their knowledge and ideas and contribute to solving global research challenges. I have been an author previously. I have been in research labs, so I've seen that life closely. I understand the pressures of authors when it comes to their, uh, their grant process, their authorship, 
why it's important for the research paper to come out soon how it impacts their career so i bring that perspective to the business sense of satisfaction and fulfillment comes in two different ways one is directly from client feedback when sometimes a client reaches out to you and tells you how happy they were that you were able to tell their story well and when one my teams do that really well it's a tremendous thrill and the other comes from actually publishing the work in these high impact factor journals and seeing that you know it's it's been able to reach a wider readership i think i find it very useful that i'm able to use my experience as a author as a reviewer and then use the skills and this experience to come up with solutions that allow me to ensure that our authors and our scientists have a better experience they have a smooth experience while trying to communicate their fascinating research and to be able to bring research from the lab uh, to uh, the rest of the community and to the rest of the world uh, is definitely very fulfilling we actually um shared and promote the science to a broader audience and we helped the researchers and also but also we helped the public in general as well These stories reflect the fierce and unbeatable spirit that drives change and moves science forward. They are about real women making a real difference to our world. We celebrate this International Day of Women and Girls in Science and encourage their active participation in the practice of all STEM fields. Uh so it has been that the traditional career paths will be in the academia and teaching and all of those but with the way the world is developing today the opportunities that exist outside of the academic world for science graduates and post graduates is incredible if you like solving challenges if you like interacting with different people to come up with solutions to these challenges i think scientific publishing is a great career option i think it's very important to understand why you're doing what you're doing to believe in in this field and believe in why you're disseminating science and it's it's something i even say to people i interview another key attribute you need to have to succeed in this field is the ability to take feedback in the right spirit because it's a service industry you will get feedback from clients um you know and how you take that feedback will determine whether you succeed or you don't first be patient because publishing industry is a relatively traditional industry secondly be open minded you will have the opportunity to meet and know a lot of smart people from different subject areas so you have really to be open minded so you will be able to learn lots of stuff from them and i can guarantee you will definitely enjoy it keep your eyes and uh, mind open to opportunities outside of the regular academia phd postdoc and a tenure track position there are a lot of applied areas a lot of industries which require your research skills and sometimes even subject matter skills be interested because if you're interested and show that and you um you take your scientific training and as i said before you apply that methodology to fixing a problem that you see you'll have an edge over colleagues um, that don't have that background or don't have that interest my name is yang wu currently i'm the editor director for life and social science for wiley in china i'm madhura ambedkar and i'm a senior associate at wiley my name is maithili nargunkar and i work at wiley as a strategic market analyst my name is christine miranda and i am currently the head of the editing team at cactus i'm uh, dr shilpi mehra and i head the publication support services at uh, editage in uh, cactus communications natalia ortuza senior director of product performance wiley research my name is shama butch and i'm an associate vice president of medical affairs at cactus life sciences There are myriad opportunities for women to lead in science and science related industries like publishing. And only together can we continue to drive positive change.